We're here with Coach Daniel Brizard, the Tennessee Tech soccer team. They open their season Friday against Tennessee Chattanooga here at Tech Soccer Field and take on Belmont on Sunday. Coach, uh, talk about your preseason camp and uh, what you've seen and uh, what you would like to see this weekend. Well, uh, so far, our camp has gone really, really well. I think that uh, we are ahead of where we're at, we, where we were from this time last year. Um, I think the girls have stepped it up in their off-season workouts and coming to camp prepared. Uh, I think that they are realizing that they are better than than what they showed last year, which is great. You want to have the girls want to have confidence going into your first games. They want to know that they can compete and that they can play against anybody in the country. So that's been that's been really nice having. Um, as far as you know, what we expect out of these these games this weekend. I mean, we're still building chemistry. I think you can play as many exhibitions as you want, but there's nothing like that first game when you step on the field. Um, everybody still has those jitters, no matter if you're a senior or a freshman. So just trying to calm everybody down and, and play the way we can play. Um, and I think we'll do well. I think uh, that the chemistry, we're still building upon that, but I think we're ahead of where we thought we would be. So that's good. Um, and then just trying to find our rhythm, um, our style of play and, and how we want to play. Um, you know, against another quality opponent. Coach, you talked a little about developing chemistry. I know you guys went to the Okoe River to go whitewater rafting. Talk about that trip and uh, talk about this team with eight newcomers and, and developing that those bonds between the, the players. Yeah, the Okoe, that was, it was a fantastic time. We actually stayed, uh, the girls stayed in a bunkhouse, um, which was uh, two 15-room bunkhouses. So that, that was kind of fun. You know, there was no TVs. They actually had to talk to each other. It didn't, didn't quite take away their phones or anything, so they still had those. But, you know, um, one of our managers, Mary Gray, came up with uh, some great games that we could play. The staff got involved and then uh, basically just made them sit around and talk to each other and find out who each other was. And I think that's a very important part. I think nowadays with social media and texting, you know, a lot of girls miss that. You go to a hotel, they all might be in a room, but they're all staring at a TV. So when you, when you take those things out of the equation, I think they have to talk to each other and figure out who each other are and uh, I think it really worked well for us and then the next day we went rafting which was just fun you know we we had about five boats um, with about six people in the boat and just working together and being a team I think it was uh, I think it was really good for us. Who on this team has impressed you so far at camp and uh, who will fans really want to watch for uh, this weekend? Gosh you know that's gonna be hard <laughs> singling out a lot of people but uh, you know I think um, Ellie from last year stepped up Andy um, those, those are our two forwards have really come into camp uh, determined to score some goals. So I think, you know, they they have made a commitment over the summer um, to hopefully get us on the scoreboard. Um, Chris, you know, played played this summer in Cincinnati for a WPSL team, and uh, I think she's really prepared. Um, we look for good things from her. Becca in the goal, um, I think, has stepped up her game. Um, so we're really looking forward to hopefully keeping more clean sheets this year. Um, some freshmen, some newcomers that we're really looking forward to. Chelsea, um, she's kind of shown herself. She might work her, her way onto the field um, in a starting spot, kind of a holding mid player. I think she's really done well. Uh, a couple other freshmen that I think Brooklyn, uh, Kimball has kind of shown that she's a little versatile player, that she can play in a couple spots on the field. Katie Phillips um, has done a real good job at holding mid. Hopefully she'll give us some time there. I mean, all the freshmen have kind of stepped up, and I think the team has made it a little easier for them uh, to integrate themselves because it's more of a team. It's not, you know, freshmen versus seniors or freshmen versus upperclassmen. It's it's a team, and I think all our girls get that now, which is a which is a great thing to have as far as a team. Um, some other people like Carrie Reed have stepped up. Um, you know, Jackie Watkins has done a really good job. Our back line, um, which is solid, all the way from Taylor, Lee, Lindsay, and 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 Julie. I think. Uh, you know, they're all going to do great jobs. Sarah's going to hopefully give us some more scoring or at least some assists. You know, she can fly on the field. So I think, I think we have a lot of depth this year, and I think we're going to um, see good things from our players. Okay. Uh, any emphasis or that you place on these, these first couple games, how do you approach these games uh, just coming in and, and trying to see where you are? Um, you know, I mean, that's, that's always the, the weird thing because you can do it in training, you can do it, you know, against an exhibition game or against yourselves, but you'll never know how you react until you're, you know, the real thing comes. So I think right now we're just seeing if we can play our style of play to, uh, to see if we can control the game we want to and not worry about the other team so much. But the way that we play I think is important. And I think going into these first set of games we're going to figure it out 
Um, what works for us, hopefully we'll get a lineup that we can get a good rotation from. But I think, you know, it all goes out the, uh, out the window, so to say, when uh, that first game, when that whistle blows, because it's, you know, it's game time at that point. So, you know, you may have some pre pre notions of what might happen or what hopefully happens, but I think it's more of a, all right, let's just, we can prepare, you know, as much as we want. We can, uh, we can go over set pieces, we can go over free kicks, but until the game time comes, you know, you never really uh, know how everybody's going to react. Um, so we're hoping just to, just to implement our style of play and uh, see where it goes from there.